What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Deadbolt. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and assassinate some more foes. So let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Alright, candles have spotted vampires coming and going from the industrial district, the same address I found in the safe. I'll find out what they're doing and suddenly the flames speak. The goals of undead are always the same. Some vampires will have phylacteries in difficult places and will have to be killed multiple times. I thought you could use companionship, spoke the fireplace. Life is not meant to be spent alone. Alright then. I guess this house is haunted with a nasty little bastard like Ollie too. Whatever. I'm not too impressed with the SMG right now. I think they may have nerfed automatics a little bit hard. I don't know if there was like a beta testing or whatever where the testers reported back that the uh, automatics were way too good. But the automatics don't seem that good right now. I figured they'd be good as long as you could score headshots with them. But even with headshots, they're not one-shotting anything. So I'll probably just stick to the guns that allow me to one-shot things. A little disappointing, but eh, what are you going to do? Bottle service. Protect the ash. It's worth more than you. This front door does not look so friendly to me. I like how we just in case somebody's in, like steal death's car. Who would steal death's car? That's a terrible plan. This is gonna suck. What is this? I don't know what that was, but we need to jump in a vent like right now. That's unfortunate because when they come back, what's going to happen here is now they become like an activated mob when they come back. And so where is she going? Is she coming in here? Okay, so she stays in there. I think if I can just sledge everybody, we'll be good. But it all sort of depends, man. Do I even have the sledge out right now? Shit. I don't know what weapon I have out. This might not go well. Ideally, I needed to have the sledgehammer. Oh, there's a blockage in the pipe. That's fun. Yeah, we're hosed. <laughs> might as well take it. I, I gotta I gotta equip the sledgehammer before I go inside the before I go inside the vents. I don't know if headshots matter against those guys. One would hope that they do. I have no idea what that vent does. I assume, anyways... Oh, it probably opens that little floodgate right there. Okay, gotcha. I'm surprised that worked. I'm, like, really surprised that worked. We gotta take that guy, oh my god. Alright, this is gonna be chaos, I can tell already. However, we do have access to a Tommy gun right there. Oh shit. How do I get to the Tommy gun? You gotta open up, ah, that's what the locks are for. So the locks let you get to the Tommy gun, and then that'll allow you to destroy all the phylacteries too. Interesting stuff. Alright, burn a little bit more of that. Flip that thing right there so that we got a little bit more control over our lives. That'll allow me to get back over this way. Alright, so he's down. No more head for you. I don't know if people know this, but if you chop off a vampire's head, then it does kill them, by the way. That is one of the weaknesses of a vampire. They can't cross over water or something like that. Like, they can't cross over rivers unless invited. They can't enter your house unless invited. There's a bunch of random rules. Bunch of random... I have no idea what to do with these guys. Oh shit, that was one of those auto doors. I hate those auto doors. Those auto doors are getting me into trouble. The doors that like open on their own when you step too close to them. I am not a fan. I am definitely not a fan. I think I worked fast enough right there. However, I did set off a little bit of a little bit of a security hullabaloo. Oh, he didn't see me. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Alright, 
Yeah, I don't care at all. As long as you don't see me, that's perfectly fine. Now I gotta get back to that first vent so that I can go all the way through, destroy the phylacteries, and get my shit done. Unfortunately, I'm holding a sledgehammer right now. I wish it showed your weapons right here so you knew whether to scroll up or scroll down to take your weapons out on the mouse when you came out of this shit. I think my best plan might be to bail out of here. Unless he's just going to camp me right there. And then once I bail out, yeah, I had the sledgehammer out. That's what I was worried about. Light a few more fires right there. And then we'll wait for him to screw up. And when he screws up, we'll kill him. Might take us a little bit of time, but sometimes you got to wait it out. It is, it is what it is. I saw him stand by the edge over here, so we might be able to get a headshot off at some point. There we go. Problem solved. Alright, so he's down. The only other problem that we have to deal with is we can either go through him, which I think is the better option. If we can go through him or we can go through them, and I think going through him is going to be a smarter plan. Because if we go through him, that allows us to get to the vent right there. We get the Tommy gun, we destroy the phylacteries, we come back out, and we Tommy gun the shit out of him in that room. Which is what I'm, I'm thinking, so... We wait. All of these have been flipped, so I think we should be good here. Oh, shit. I just ruined your life. My name is Death, and I am rad. I just shot your soul, man. That'd be really upsetting if somebody shot my soul. I'd be like, this is a bullshit. I'm gonna shoot a man's soul. It ain't right. It ain't right. And now you're dead. And now I have a shotgun! Which is by far my favorite weapon so far in the game. Sorry girl, you gotta go. Burn that shit. We only have to kill all the ash? I don't know if I missed some ash around here somewhere, but... Eh. Whatever. Oh, I did. There's a stash over on the right-hand side. How do you get to the stash on that side? Oh, you gotta fall off the roof. Okay, I see it. It's like a little secret stash room back here. Gotcha. Only accessible from the outside. Don't know if I'd be brave enough to do that with my stash, but... It appears as though the stage is done. So technically, we don't even have to have Tommy Gun Fun. But what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't have Tommy Gun Fun at least one time during the course of this episode? So... Let's do this thing. Ah! No! No! God, that's so upsetting in such a visceral and heartfelt way. Come here, that's it. I gotta find your phylactery so that I can stomp on it with my dirtiest shoes. And I cannot wait to do it. It's gonna be just horrific for you. You're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate it and I'm gonna love every moment. Smack that guy for a second. I don't know what all these wispy tendrils are going on, but I'm gonna set some fires because it seems like fun. Jump into the vent and then we'll swing on up to the top. We gotta wait for this guy to go past. Either way, the vampire on the left, I think, is gonna see us, regardless of what we do. And so we're gonna have to sprint past, and the important part is just to hit the little valve things on the way by. So that when we come back around and through with the typewriter, we should be able to take care of all this. So that one's swapped, that one's swapped. We're gonna drop down to here. I think we probably wanna wait for him. 9mm puts him away, good. Stowed him away like a well-folded pair of socks, and then... Like, I don't want to get greedy, so we'll light those now. I was going to light them before, but then I was like, eh, I'm going to get shot in the back while I'm trying to light. We've got all the valves taken care of. I think that should let us... Oh, shit. Well, that's problematic. I don't know. There we go. We'll swap that over. I wanted to make sure I got the right weapon equipped before I try this. I don't know if this is going to work. We're just going to have to go for it. There we go. So he's down. With death and taxes, I think I can ace these guys right here. But we could go back up to the top, and then we could go through the vent. And that might save us a little bit of trouble to begin with. We could take this guy, too. A couple of headshots put him down. I was hoping that would bring them up a floor. It's unfortunate that it didn't go down like that. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to hear me. I think they're all alarmed and stuck to that part of the floor. Whatever. We'll make it work. So through the vent... 
We'll go down, and then we'll try to grab the treasure right now. We'll light those drugs right there. And we've got the Tommy gun, which should be pretty easy to use. This is actually an isolated room. There's, like, no way in here. Some kind of safe room or something. I don't know how they get in here. I don't know how they have, like, immaterial powers or what. But there it is. I've splattered their souls all over the place. Now, we just got to go to the rough task of finishing the job. We can turn the light on and off, too, just in case you wanted to add some ambiance to the situation. In we go. We're going to drop in behind this guy, which is actually hugely advantageous. He's going to go down. I'm going to swap out his combat shotgun. They can't shoot up, and that puts us at a huge advantage where I can just sit here and pepper them with bullets, and it shouldn't even matter. I'm going to jump down this side. We're going to teleport in through here. That was really close, by the way. I probably should have just camped it and used the typewriter to take him out, but eh. She's going to jump down. That makes my life way easier. He's going to go back up, both of which makes my life easier. Let's deal with him first. I don't know if he's going to come back down or not. I will aim at this door intently until I find out. All right, we got to go up and we got to get him. There it is. Perfect. And that'll reload the combat shotgun. We'll come back through and we'll get rid of these two ladies over here. You can fire, like, downwards, so don't worry about it too much. Should be easy enough to handle. We got to go off the roof. Two more drug stashes for us to get rid of. Should be convenient enough. Now that there's nobody here trying to kill us, let's pick like crazy. There it is. Perfect. Light that thing up. It's a good thing we're fire retardant. I never thought of the Grim Reaper as being fire retardant, but this game has really showed, it showed me the error of my ways. Apparently the Grim Reaper is fire retardant. Who knew? Alright. Get rid of him. The other guy. Oh, please make my life easy. Oh, he's coming this way. Ah, balls. Shotgun time, shotgun time, gonna murder you, it's gonna be fine. There, we're done. Let's get back to the car. I think we've basically banged this one out. Pretty pretty solid attempt right there, and I'm happy with it. Jumping on back in, I don't know how our performance was. I'm sure it was okay, but bottle service has been completed. Not as bad as it could have gone. I mean, it took me some work. We, uh, we had to ball out a little bit. I had to go off camera to get it done. It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta suffer your way through. It's rough, man. It's a rough, rough game. This is not a game that's gonna pull punches on you. This game is, like, designed to make you super upset. Alright, twins lost at sea of lust and of pain. Women without love cannot live with me. The twins have somehow made each other their phylactery. I have to kill both at nearly the same time. Amber and Evelyn run brothels downtown. They are high-ranking members of the Thousand Year Royals. They must understand the cryptic messages I've been finding in the club cafes. The vampires are both the most attractive and sexually active undead, so it comes naturally. I was kind of like the VTM thing where, like, vampires thought they were above sexual activity. Like, that was something that, like, breeders do. That's something that human beings do. We're like gods. We don't do that anymore. At the same time, there would be nothing, like... It would be nothing better than just like an eternity of just like banging. Just like, yay! What are we doing today? Mm, being eternal and banging. You know how it goes. And they're like gang banging and also banging. Twin vampires running a brothel. Ah, we got this thing. Whatever. This thing is covered. Come on. The fun just started. Did she slice a dude's head off? I think she sliced a dude's head off. I've got to kill two at the same time. All right. I mean, I cleared out that room pretty easily. We'll wait for this guy to come by because he will. They always do. And then we'll take his head off. I'm going to take the hammer, I think. Turns out you can press the space bar to swap your weapons, too, in case you're having trouble remembering which way. Because you can roll up or down to get to the weapon you want, but it's actually easier to press the space bar since you can only have two weapons anyways. So that'll take me up to there. Let's have a look and figure out what the layout of this place is, which is actually kind of punny considering we're in a brothel. All right, he's down. Do I have to kill the ones that are in bed or are we like good here? Are they all like dusted out and shit? I think they're dusted out. I got to kill both at basically the same time. I mean, I didn't mean to do that, but sure. I'll shoot his phylactery now because it makes my life easier. Instead of death and taxes, I'll take this. So I'm assuming that Sluis right there. Or there's like a little handle over there. I assume it does something. What it do, I don't know. 
have to sort that one out a little bit later. I'd be a little bit upset if somebody shot my dogs. Perfect. Covered. I'd be pretty upset, actually. She's now dug in. I wonder if that opens... I wonder what that does. I wonder if they mean that, like, I have to kill one of the twins, then break the phylactery, then go back and kill the other twin. If I actually have to put a round through both of them across the map, that seems a little unlikely. Oh, it's going to open that. So I got to shoot her. I got to travel over to the other side. Then I got to shoot the other one. Okay. Well, that's going to get complicated then because she's dug in. So maybe we go to the other side first because she's in cover right now, which means I have a chance of my bullet getting stopped no matter how well I aim. If that goes down, then we're going to be a little bit hosed. I'm going to go back over the other direction and see if I can get after her a little bit more carefully. His head's off. Shit. Perfect. That actually was exactly what I wanted to happen, but didn't know if it would. Oh, he's up on the roof. I saw him as I was going through, but I didn't know if he would activate or not. Okay, that's fine. We're good here. Yeah, you know, or just don't shoot the phylactery. It's fine. Whatever. There we go. Maybe that'll work a tad better. Or maybe I'm just not supposed to go that way. I don't know. Looks like we cleared the building out pretty efficiently. Is she in cover? She is not in cover. Which means that I gotta open that shit. I'm about to kill him multiple times though, I think. Oh wow, a shotgun doesn't drop her? Huh. That, that represents a very real issue. It's not going to matter what I can do if I can't kill her with one shot. I don't think we want to use the com The combat shotgun didn't work, so we're going to have to figure something out here. Come on. And down you go. Enjoy your eternal sleep. Yeah, you can dismember a vampire and put their pieces like in places. There's a bunch of rules for killing vampires in the ancient sense, like in vampire. I saw an ancient vampire hunters kit. They headed it. Ripley's Believe It or Not, I think in Los Angeles. I went there and as I recall, they had like a vampire hunters kit there, which I don't know. They used to stake people through the heart back in the day after they died just to make sure they didn't come back. That they nail the coffin shut so that you couldn't get up and out. Man, he's camping, isn't he? Come on, buddy. Don't just dig in on me. I was going to say... Ooh, he shot the lights out. There we go. I figured I could get him. It was just going to take a little bit of work. We got the 10 right here. Okay, so she's down. But her soul is still there. Which means I got to go like this. And that's a terrible idea. We're going to have to do this a different way. So I'm going to pop out right here. And as I recall, this side of the building wasn't too bad. Did I leave death and taxes in here? I think I left death and taxes here. Hopefully they have her programmed to not leave the room. Because if she leaves the room, it's going to make this a lot more complicated. Since their souls are inside of each other, that means you got to kill them both. Rapid fire succession, basically. I'm going to try and get her... Oh, man, I ran out of bullets. I ran out of bullets. I think maybe we do this side first. The other side was a bit of a damage soak. Or I'm sorry, it was a little bit of a ammo soak. There we go. That was a little bit more successful of a room. That was a little bit more what I was going for, although we still have no guns, so... This might be a little gnarly. 
There, we'll hammer him. We got a 10 millimeter right here. She's down. See, it lines up on that side, so I keep thinking that... That was a mess. Like a big time mess. It'll be okay though, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to slog my way through. Got her with three rounds, so a little bit of a waste. Still running death and taxes. Should be able to spray this whole room down pretty easily. We're gonna have an ammo problem on the second half of the building, I think. And that's like the biggest part that I'm stressed about is that if we can't maintain ammo, we're gonna have real issues clearing out some of these areas. So hammer time! Now that he has been shellacked to death, we'll take that shotgun in just a minute. That's not for right now. We've got a 10 millimeter right here. That'll work. And then actually I got him with the phylactery on the last shot, good. I wasn't really, I was kinda aiming for it, but if I'm being honest, I was sorta just spraying and praying. That's how it goes when I lose my cool. I'm gonna bait them into the room. Get rid of the dogs. Wow, you wouldn't think so much blood would be inside one dog. You notice they wag when they're trying to murder me? I think I can get her with like two shots, but you gotta be real quick about it. We gotta flip that little valve over on this opposite side. And then her sister's soul, they're tied together, so I've gotta sort that out. I have basically like five rounds to make this happen. Oof. It's gonna have to get creative in the other building. The other building has a lot of stuff for us to kill, and unfortunately, we're just not quite there yet. My skill level and my, my ammo wasting is on a whole different level. So he's up on the roof. I need him, like, two-shotted. So if I, I suck at shooting at him when they're on the roof, so I'm gonna wait till he gets down. That's right. Perfect. Take the stick him off your shoes. Perfect. Okay. So now... Ooh, I got him. Yeah! Things are coming together now. Things are coming together. Oh! <gasps> It hit the all oh, it went through him and hit the phylactery. Oh my god, that was so G'd out. Okay, so in this room, there's two of them. I drop in and I clear you two. And then maybe he comes up and investigates, I hope? I don't know which way he's gonna come through. Looks like right side. Okay, so good. Took care of him. There's a 10 millimeter right here. We're gonna need that in a minute because the shotgun has proved to be ineffective unfortunately against the lady of the house so the combat shotgun's good to go we'll take the 10 hopefully it's less than five shots go time all right so it took four we should be good now what we need is to hit that valve and we gotta race through here as quickly as we can we're gonna come out spraying hey we got it done oh my god this game this game is gonna give me ulcers this game downright is gonna just give me upset tummy for the rest of my life this game is gnarly. I, I remember feeling exactly the same way when I played Hotline Miami where it was like, I know how to win this, I just can't execute, I just can't perform. Ah! So let's jump on out. God. Amber and Evelyn, what an adventure that was. My god, they were tough. They had it in them. God, what a mess that was. That was an intense mission, though. That was a mission where you had to be like, go, 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 go the entire time. You had to be moving. You had to be straight flying by the seat of your pants to get that one done. Pretty proud of it, though. Like, every time you beat a mission in this game, you feel like you've made real progress and you've gotten, like, faster. Like, I feel like my headshots have gotten quicker. I definitely feel like I've gotten better at identifying objectives. Like, I feel like I'm dying a lot less on the more difficult stuff. Just because, I don't know, you start to get a feel for how it should, like, you know how it should go down. And so after you've seen it go down two or three times, it's not so bad. Let's go ahead and camp out by the fire for a minute. The flames stay extinguished. A club the candles have been investigating has suddenly gone quiet along with the candles. What happened inside? There is no intel. The fireplace remains quiet. Interesting. The club is strangely quiet. What happened? You'd think we could solve this up a lot better with, like, UV flashlights and shit, too. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is, so... I'm just gonna hope for headshots. 
Looks like the headshots work reasonably decently. What is this right here? Like a scar or something? A suppressed PDW. Okay, and apparently they only gave him like, they got like a Gomer Pyle thing, or I'm sorry, not a Gomer Pyle thing. They got a Don Knotts thing going. Where they only gave him like one bullet at a time. What the hell? Oh, so it doesn't stun the enemy. Okay. So that gun's only going to be useful at like a really, really long range, basically. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, so you got to get them where they can't shoot back. All right, that makes sense. What's that on the ground? A landmine? The hell do I need a landmine for? I probably shouldn't have jumped out right there. This is probably going to hurt. Oh, no, we got him. Never mind then. All right, well, as many PDWs as I can have, it looks like they're converting into ash. Like, maybe if you use too much, you turn into ash? I don't know. It's weird. So, ain't none of that go anywhere. Ain't that a trip. Oh, I got an elevator over here, I think. I was trying to figure out what this might be. Yeah, it's an elevator. I think this is probably what we need it for. Yeah! That was what was up. That was my shit right there. That was my shit. Now he's got to whack this guy's phylactery before he comes back. I was going to say, it seemed like it was too simple. Yeah, give me the combat shoddy. We'll give that some use in just a minute. Can this still go up? Ah, it can. All right. Got a locked door right here. I don't know if a shotgun will blap that thing in one hit. As much as I want to drop that dun da 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 on this guy. Eh, you know, got the job done. Kill him! Maybe I should have left the landmine by the front door. That might have worked a little better. That lady died on the toilet, ain't that a bitch? Ain't that about a bitch. Well, kill the backup, I mean... I mean, how are they going to get up here? You know, I've got the elevator, unless they're going to call it. Oh, they are. Okay, so let them come search then. I think I got shot like eight times. I was like, ah, whatever. I'll just go to the top floor. It's all good. I'm not tripping about it. I'm having a pretty good day right now. Yeah. I don't think you want to mess with me. This gun is pretty legit right here. Why the Reaper needs so many guns, I don't know, but... Looks like there's a little more backup coming, too. Nah, I'm going to say we need a new gun. I'm going to play it safe on this one. Most of the time, I would stand my ground with three bullets and hope for headshots. For right now, though... I think that's seeming like an idea that might get me into trouble. Kill the Nightcrawler. Oh, that's what it's called. It's called a Nightcrawler. Alright. Whatever. I just want more guns. I don't care about none of this shit. I just want to shoot things better. And not, like, fail the mission 900 times before I actually get it done. He's camping kind of close to the door right there. There we go. I figured that would solve it. I wasn't totally sure, but I'd give it my bet. There's more backup coming in. And I am out of bullets. Yay. Is 
Yeah, this represents an issue. It looks like they dropped their shotguns over there, so I probably could have waited that guy out, but eh, whatever. Just give me something with some ammo in it. I don't even care. I don't think I much want to drop into the same room with him. I think we should be good. We should be able to walk right past the Nightcrawler and just be the hell up out of here. Yeah, I'm going to suggest we go. Oh, I have to kill him? Okay, well then I guess I have to kill him. Gotta do what you gotta do. Done. I was just gonna leave him. I'm like, eh, whatever. And the other missions, they were like, yeah, just stick to the objective. This one, I guess the objective was making sure we wipe out everybody. Grim Reaper's feeling hungry today. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Deadbolt. I will see you all in future episodes. It was a lot of fun, and I look forward to playing with you again later. Bye, everybody.